What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. For some reason you guys wanted to know the story of how I got out of the friend zone after like three years. So today we're here to explain. Today is the day. And we're going to do it a little bit creatively. We're not just going to be sitting here. We're going to be going around. We're going to be scooting around getting Sophie a cupcake. Showing you guys a little bit of us as we tell the story of how I got out of the friend zone after three years. And how much of a struggle it was. Don't give me that face. If you guys don't know, we just celebrated our one year. So... We are not just one month into it. We've been at this for a year now. One year of love and happiness. So uh, <laughs> the love of my life. <laughs> you guys will uh, hear how I got here, how I went from getting swerved, trying to kiss her multiple times to where we are today. <laughs> so basically like that. I got to be creative. I can't just sit here and talk about it. So let's be creative. Let's get out and about, go around the city and have some fun with squad, AKA her. <laughs> so let's go. Also, if you're finding this and you're new to the channel, this is not typically what I will talk about. This is a channel where I do streetwear and clothing. You can't really tell from this angle right here. A lot of shoes and stuff I do, like mystery boxes, outfit of challenges, different stuff like that. So if you're in that kind of thing, you can check out the rest of the videos on my channel if you're not already uh, in, in the loop with this channel. I assume most of you are. And subscribe if you're not. Turn on post notifications and follow me on Instagram because it is fire. So we wanted to do this in somewhat of a unique way. So we're gonna go around where I live and I'm not gonna show you where I live because then you'll know. Basically there are some scooters that you can use all throughout the city. We're gonna go find one, ride it to somewhere to talk about this. So give us a sec. places that we went on a quote-unquote date before we were actually dating was this place is back here I'm not gonna name it because you'll know where it is basically it's a furniture store it's a very nice furniture store and at the top of it you can see the whole view of Atlanta we went there as friends but it wasn't like a date I, and we were in there we, it's funny because we told the people in I was like before we go in here let's act like we're buying furniture for our apartment or a condo that we just bought but I was nowhere close to being able to afford where I wanted to live so it was funny going back then. So we actually did end up going back like recently on for our one six of our month. on our six month anniversary. We ended up going and this time he was actually looking for furniture for his apartment. So that yeah. was funny. Because the, it's a very expensive furniture place and so that's why before I was not looking at all. I'm gonna get it. We just found the scooter. It's over here. Yeah. You wanna do it on yours? I've never actually done this before, yeah. Alright, I just gave her free credit. If you want a free credit, use my code for a free ride. That's in the description. That. Kickstand. All right, go this way. Okay. So it's three and then you- it, Just like, like one or two. You got it. Actually, what a lot of people might not know is that we went to high school together. Yes. Yeah, so. so we met when we were like 16, I want to say. Well, you were probably 16. I was probably 15. 2012 was our first point of contact, kind <laughs> of. I've seen her around school. I guess we might have hanging out with friends, but I messaged her on Facebook in 2012 saying something about, do you know so-and-so? And then she didn't respond. And then the next message I said, I don't know how much longer I said, I thought you were really pretty, saw you around in school, and do you want to hang out sometime? Got zero response. She left me on red in 2012. It's just six years ago now. Pretty much that same year, my sister started working for him. So he was the manager at a- Concession stand. Concession stand at like a local neighborhood. So all the kids would pretty much go hang out there. And my sister worked there. Naturally, I would go hang out at the pool and my sister kind of introduced us to each other. It would be like randomly, she'd invite me over to hang out. Like it was nothing, we, we weren't really good friends. We, we were kind of talking, but it wasn't really like going anywhere. We weren't trying means. to like, <laughs> I don't think I was really trying back then to like yeah. date you and you no. definitely weren't trying to date me. So it was just more of along the lines of like us just hanging out and just being high school friends, I guess. And then, I mean, eventually I feel like I tried to like ask you out or something. I mean, maybe we started to try to talk and I might have gotten and wanted to date her or something. So I met her at a concert, Keith Urban concert. And I, this was in high school. I can't remember what grade. I was 18, I think. We went there and I was trying to hang out with her. So I met her at the concert. End of the concert comes where I gotta leave and I lean in for a smooch. She swerves <laughs> me with the cheek and then I leave and 
then I was like, sorry, and we kind of stopped talking after that, I think. Part one of the story, everything leading up to us starting to be best friends, which is when I was in the friend zone, as far as that part is over, and it, we're going to the next part now. Sophie wants something sweet, so we're getting her a cupcake, right? Yes. So I don't know if there's gonna be seating outside where we can talk, but we're gonna get some cupcakes. <laughs> Should we shout them out? Nah, no free promo around here, boys. Also, if this video gets 15,000 likes, Sophie will start a YouTube channel. She promised it. So if you guys wanna see that, leave a like. Sophie wanted to sit right here, so we are. Next up is the start of our friendship. 2015, 16, somewhere around there. 16 Something. probably. So basically I was in college at this point, right before winter break, so probably like, basically I was still friends with him on Snapchat from high school and I noticed that he started like dressing a little bit differently than he did in high school. So now it was my turn to <laughs> slide in. I messaged him on Snapchat asking him something and we like got each other's number again. You actually asked me if I wanted help with a photo shoot for like oh. a company that I was really interested in. And I was like, yeah, of course, because he's always been into photography and all that. In February on Valentine's Day, we ended up going hiking. I remember we were both wearing beanies and everyone probably thought we were on a date, but I just like basically told him my entire life story, everything that had been happening in college and all that on the mountaintop and we just got really close really fast. Not like anything like past friends, just close friends. I guess we don't have to go too in depth on the friendship, but. No, but I did want to mention because a lot of people had been asking and people are just automatically going to assume that I wanted to date him because of his like YouTube stuff and all that and when we became friends, I really didn't even know he was doing that. Like, really, I had no idea. I kind of just like, I didn't ignore it. I just didn't know that's what he was doing <laughs> for a job. <laughs> I thought well, he was into cars and doing car stuff, truthfully, yeah, which you were. I was into cars and my Instagram was mainly car stuff. But to be fair, I started YouTube and I was very like, nobody knew about it. I had no subscribers when we first started as friends. And she didn't even like, I didn't take it full time until a year ago, like a little bit over a year ago now. And that's when she started to realize, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But basically, when we started hanging out then, YouTube was not a thing. It was, I had like 100 subscribers. I was more weird than cool to be doing it. Hanging out for us just meant like, we're like going out to eat and like Punt City Market, fun, kind of stuff like that. But it wasn't really dates because we were just friends. Like we didn't really think anything of it at the time. That would mainly take place on like breaks because he was going to school up in North Georgia and I was at school in South Georgia. So we really would just like text and like we would actually as friends like FaceTime each other every night and talk literally about every day, night, like every night. <laughs> she was like four hours away at school. And at one point we would FaceTime every single night and just sit there, talk, sometimes not even talk, just sit there and hang out while she would hang out with her friend. And that's where I think it was a good friendship part because we knew everything about each other and we're talking like every day, but it wasn't like feeling. So the next part is, I don't know if you have anything else to say, is where it comes into me how I dealt with it because this is where the feelings started to come in <laughs> for me throughout it. And I'm gonna explain all the different times and how I dealt with it for all my boys out there who are going through this. both cool being friends this wasn't necessarily a friend zone she wanted me to make that clear that it's like I at some points would get feelings but we weren't like dating like I wasn't really trying to date her yet and I hadn't told her that so obviously I tried to make moves previously but at some points I kind of wanted to like try things out because we were good friends and I was like why not this is how I would always tell her like it's best to start a relationship as friends first like we were just friends and maybe we can give it a try. At some points I was wishy-washy and I would make it seem like I actually like wanted to try something and I genuinely did, but I like would stop myself and be like, no, I'm like, just kidding. The biggest thing for me was that over the period, whenever I would start to get feelings, I would have to pull back to save our friendship. That was a big thing that I felt I had to do. So there would be times where I started to feel like, oh, I wanted to date her because we'd be FaceTiming every night. I And I like, it was seemed like it'd be perfect. And I just knew that that's not what she, she didn't want that at all. So I would pull back and I would be like, you know, like I wouldn't really talk to her for like a week. And that was because I was so in my feelings. I so wanted to work, but I knew that she wouldn't. And it, it would be cause more of a problem if I didn't. 
and that was towards near the that was like later in the friendship yeah that was towards like i guess it, two years ago towards like spring time when i was on spring break we ended up like he picked me up and we were sitting in the car like talking and that was when he actually told me that he liked me so from wait, like wait, wait. what i will say I had tried many times before to tell her, but I don't think it came across as much as that one night. So I had tried multiple times telling her, like, I would like to try to date you. If not... You're not great with <laughs> words and, like, actually getting out what you wanted to say. But also, you're bad at interpreting <laughs> but what I But I'm say. not very receptive when I don't like what I'm <laughs> about to hear. So basically, so. <laughs> we were sitting in the car for, like, an hour. And, and I, I, was like, I got frustrated. I got mad because... I remember yeah. getting mad because I was telling her, Sophie... But you want to actually say it. I, I had did. to force it out of you. Um, I was like, Harry, both ways. you like me and it's not going to happen ever. So get that idea out of your head, basically. basically. So what I said <laughs> was like, I was like, I don't want to date anybody right now except you. Like I would tell all my friends that, like literally all my friends, you can, some of them commented on some of my pictures with her on our anniversary. I liked her as a friend so much and I started to like her more than a friend so much that she was the only one I'd be willing to date because I knew her so well. I didn't want to go through the whole getting to know somebody again. What kind of soda <laughs> do you like? What kind of thing do you like to do in the afternoon? I knew everything about her and I had known that there was another person that she was talking to up until that point. So I thought they weren't talking anymore, but he was basically the opposite of her. So she was talking to somebody else and I thought it was done, but it turns out it wasn't and they were actually dating. And so at that point when us were talking, I broke it down and I said, Sophie, if there's one person that I would date for the next 10 years, it's you. Like, I want to focus on work, whatever. I don't want to have to take my time to go searching, go on all these apps to find girls. I don't care. But if I'm going to date somebody, it's going to be you. And I laid that out. And basically, she told me right then that she was dating somebody else after I professed my love. This is a big turning point because this might happen in some uh, friendships. At that point, I had to make, I was very hurt because I didn't know that. and. I had to drive her home actually after this long conversation. It was like a 15 minute drive that was like completely Yeah, silent. and there's that the song on the radio that was like, Don't go. A bit like what a we have here to play. Literally as we were driving. And uh He was we, like, This is too relatable right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the only word that I said. I think I said. And I dropped her off and I came to the conclusion that for me personally, I can't be friends with her and her dating another person. I wanted to give the respect to them to do it because I knew how I felt genuinely. She still was willing to be friends, I believe, but I couldn't be friends with her with the feelings that I had while she was dating somebody else. So I told myself, you know, I, I can't do this. At that point, she went back to school. She was in spring break. She went back to school and we didn't talk. For like three months. Three months. We had yeah. been ta we talked every single night, for every day, FaceTime almost every single night and to not talking at all. Then our three month hiatus happened. We didn't talk absolutely at all. It was no communication. There were points throughout there that I really wanted to text her and I didn't. And I, like literally, and then it took one night that I was just, she really likes moons. And one of my favorite YouTubers- The had moon, not moon. Oh, space, whatever, moon. <laughs> Basically, moon. there was one picture that my like a YouTuber moon. that Roman Atwood took and it was of a moon and it was really crisp and crazy. And I was, I wanted, I tried, almost sent it like three different times. Over you a did week. send it to me. But then I did send it to her <laughs> and she was mad. She responded like, oh, cool. And I was just like, I thought of you uh, with this moon, whatever. And then she just said, okay, cool. And then she ended up telling me that that made her mad that I sent that <laughs> because the amount of times that she thought about texting me but didn't. So I don't know what it was. I like, you came home and. Okay, so it was in like, I don't, you'll have to remind me. It was during the summer, was having his party for hitting 100,000 subscribers. So I don't know what month that was last June. summer. May or June. June, so he invited me to that. And I ended up bringing my sister, cause things were still a little weird. We hadn't really talked at all. Well, so... we did meet at the Ab oh, Avalon. Oh yeah, yeah. So we were texting or something and she, I, we were like, this is meet up in- And talk in talk. person. Yeah, so- Always do things in person, folks. Yeah, so we met and we just sat and we just talked, caught up. Yeah. And I didn't ask about what was going on with the guy. Or did but I, I told him, I told- Told I was, me, I, I guess- I single. 
I guess she told me it didn't work, whatever. And we talked. I gave her one of my merch shirts because I had come out with one at that point. And sorry if Alex is distracted in the background. He's going to be walking around. He's cooking right now. But I gave her a shirt. She thought it was cool. We talked and that was it. And then I invited her to my 100K party. Yeah. So that was actually like literally when I first started understanding what he did yeah. on YouTube last summer. Because she didn't <laughs> realize that I was my job until then. I had just quit work. But I guess she realized Wait, she came to the party and it was normal. Like I didn't, nothing weird. She was yeah, there. We Everybody you know, hung out. I didn't like pay any special. Booze. I didn't pay any special attention you to her. You really didn't honestly. pay any attention to me. Honestly. No, I was doing my thing because I was. She was there as a friend, and then that's when it's she was supporter. And then she was like, "Oh, he's not paying attention to me." <laughs> Dang. <laughs> not true. One night she decided to. One lonely night in Alpharetta, Georgia. She decided to come <laughs> hang out with me and my roommate. She'd been friends with them, and somehow we were, it just got me and her sitting there and talking, and she just kind of brought up how she was like thinking of maybe wanting to try. And I was like, Sophie, I'm in a place right now where <laughs> I'm fine being friends. I'm all my feelings are gone. I just let you like, I'm fine being friends. And if you're messing with me and you're saying that you're willing to try and I try to make a move and you don't like, I was just like, I literally told her, I was like, I'm not making a move. I was like, you've swerved me too many times. I'm not making a move. And then she kept saying like, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> And then, and then we kissed. I didn't know if she wanted to date or whatever, but we laid it out. She said she wanted to try dating. Went on a few dates. It was pretty. I told I, him I loved him. She told me she loved me pretty quickly, <laughs> and I didn't reciprocate. But she said it so passively. She was just like, "We've been friends for so long. Of course I love you." And I was just like, "What does that even mean?" Like, and so I didn't say it back. And then eventually I did. But then we just started dating. So that was basically like, dating was perfect because it's not perfect but at the beginning there's not we weren't learning about each other we are focusing on the relationship and i feel like that's a big thing with relationships is if you're just starting to meet somebody and trying to be in a relationship it's like you're trying to learn and learn about them and love them at the same time which is a lot to do whereas with this i knew everything about her so now it was just time to hang out and focus on each other yeah so now all of our like hanging out and when we were going on like dates now we are just doing a like and would hold hands when we do it. Yeah, so. it's basically the same thing. We go <laughs> yeah. coffee shops in Atlanta. We go hang out, look at a skyline. Like that's what we did, and we continue to do that. But it would be like a date, and and now we're here, one year. Right? Yeah, but like three months after we started dating, we were thrown into the long distance thing pretty quick. Yeah, so I had that's to go back to school. So. One thing a lot of people know about: we hung out like every day because obviously we just started dating, and then and it was summer. And then we started doing long distance, and she was basically four hours away. We had to learn. And it's all yeah, it's very hard. It's still very hard. We got through a year of it, but it's not easy because it's not just a quick four hour drive. It's like you have to commit to going there for a few days. And yeah. we've been doing that and we've been really good at it. And I'm not going to say everything's been absolutely perfect. We've had arguments. We've gone through every couple has these things and you have to have these things in order to build a like strong relationship. You have to get through problems. And if there's a problem, you need to voice it. Communication huge thing and that if we're gonna say this is mainly about friends it's not about relationships but when you're in it communication is huge if you have a problem you have to say it so now I just wanted to get a quick single account I wanted her to just give quick advice don't use the word single <laughs> I wanted her to give quick advice to like guys and I'm gonna give advice to guys and what I think so Sophie, I'm gonna grab the camera. What changed was I was just like sitting in my car one day and I was crying in the Walmart parking lot at school and named something more iconic. <laughs> I was like, you know, I think I'm supposed to be with Harry. So it was just like this. I didn't know how to tell him that, of course, because I wasn't just gonna call him up and be like, I'm hey ready. babe, I'm ready to date ya. <laughs> I mean, it kind of did go a little bit like that in the summer. I was like, let's, let's give it a try. If I had to give any advice to guys, my main advice would be push your feelings aside. If you really care about somebody, work through it. You have to like, you could talk to your friends about it. I talked to a lot of my friends about it. You express them. I told Alex so many times how I liked Sophie, how she wouldn't budge at all. Would she budge at all, Alex? So I liked Sophie, she wouldn't budge, and I just talked it out with them and I would realize, you know, I can do this, I want to be friends with her until it got to the point where we took a break. But basically my advice is if you really care about the person, if they get to the point where they're like seeing another person, you might have to give it that space. But there's no magic answer, basically. You just have to be there for somebody. And if you want to be their friend, be their friend and kind of just you have to respect them as a person and a friend if you don't like what they're doing. If they're dating somebody else, you have to be respectful. I think that's going to be it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos with Sophie, get this 15,000 likes. And I'll, I'm just going to continue to do more with her regardless because girlfriend clickbait, you already know. <laughs> well, because you love me. All right, guys. I'll see you guys <laughs> next time. This is Harrison and, and Sophie. Sophie. Signing out.